Hi, it's Thursday and our focus today is on the Saint track. Let's go talk to Zach Stank and see what the Saints are up to. Let's go. Hello, my name is Zachary Stank. I'm the camper chairperson and right now we are doing an activity called Prisoner's Dilemma. This is an activity in which the Saints are given the opportunity to trust each other, especially when there is rewards at the end. So they make choices based on a certain set of um, choices and those choices have consequences and they are given the opportunity to live their baptism today in a slice of the real world. Hi, I'm Chuck Bissell and this is my first year here at Harrisburg Area Confirmation Camp. I am staff for the Saints track and it's been a fantastic week. Everybody is wonderful, uh, the program is outstanding and the curriculum that the kids are going through, they're learning a lot about their baptism and a lot about their faith and it's been a great experience so far. Hi, I'm Melissa Breal. And I'm Vivian Taylor. And I'm Jesse Christ. And we have some questions on reconciliation for Jesse today. So the first question is, what does reconciliation mean to you? To me, reconciliation is making up with someone even if they've hurt you. So like making good and like being on good terms with that person. Um, second question. With whom is it the most challenging to reconcile? With others or yourself and why? I think it depends on the situation. Uh, it depends on like if someone else has hurt you or if like you've just really put yourself in a bad position because both of those types of reconciliation can be kind of difficult sometimes. And third question, how can we hurt ourselves and our relationship with God by neglecting to put aside our grudges? So I think that today, like in Chelsea's sermon, she talked about how the, like the woman, the God said, or Jesus said, that like anyone who has never sinned can throw the first stone and no one could throw the first stone because everyone has sinned. So I think by remembering that like we also have sinned, it's that makes like it a little bit easier for us to try to forgive people, um, even though it can be kind of difficult sometimes. But I think that like not putting aside your grudges distances you from God in a way, um, because God ultimately wants us to be loving people. So. Nice. Um, question number four. Uh, what do we have to do to seek forgiveness from God? Why do you think it's hard to, for us to ask? To seek forgiveness for God, we really just have to ask. Um, God is the most forgiving God out there. Like, yeah. We really, um, we don't have to do much, which is kind of crazy because sometimes we're not great people. Um, but I think it's hard for us to ask because of pride and because we don't want to like give up like anything that makes us feel like we're not doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. All right, question number five. Can you name a time in your life when you found it difficult to forgive someone else or even yourself? Yeah, so recently I had a family member hurt my family and that was a difficult time for all of us, but, um, and it's still like a difficult thing to deal with. However, like God has already forgiven that person. Um, so that person has already been forgiven in God's eyes and it, ultimately that's the only thing that matters so like I'm still working on forgiving that person but I think that as long as I'm working on it I still love them they still like love my family so it's important to be able to give grace like God would okay and now for funsies questions <laughs> my question is would you rather have a puppy sized elephant or an elephant sized puppy obviously a puppy sized elephant yeah. <laughs> and my question is, who is your dream stairway? <laughs> Honestly, <man>. okay, <laughs> Matt Johnson isn't here anymore. Oh, but that would be my dream stairway. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> <Aqua. Bye. laughs>All right, I'm gonna say a staff person's name and I need you to say the first piece of candy that comes to mind when you hear it, okay? Jordan Williams. Crush kiss. Pastor Fox. Kit Kat. Andy Hyatt. Hot tamales. Fireballs, because he's a ginger. Sorry. Derek Broom. Airhead. Lauren Bricker. Swedish fish, cause you know, I have no clue. Jess Pope. Snickers. <laughs> My name is Julia Hoffman. My name is Riley Taylor. And I'm Jocelyn Little. And, and we're, we're Pathfinders. Pathfinders. And, and we're, we're going to stay away together. <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> I'm Jenna. I'm most excited for dancing with my LT friends. No. I'm Madeline, and I'm ex most excited for you know just dancing with my friends and stuff and having a good time. My name's Beth. I'm a GGP, and I'm mostly looking forward to dancing with my girl Shannon all night. Fine. Okay. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm a GGP, and I'm most looking forward to dancing with a bunch of my friends and having fun. Okay. I'm in a dress. This is our go to dance move. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jonathan. And this is our go to dance move. <laughs> It's around 7.30 on Thursday night, and we all know what that means. It's time for the dance. 